such a nice day, and to think I was not wishing to come to the market today. All that I would have missed, the sun, the interesting conversation, and the free apples Miss Johnson gave me. <laughs> I think Jason was right. I need to come out more. But anyway, well, I need to get going. He's probably waiting for me at the carriage. <laughs> Wait, what's that smell? Where is it coming from? Let me see. I think I'm getting close to it. it it smells like blood. Human blood. Weird. Unless someone's hurt and needs my help. Oh, I better find them. And what's that? Strangely, the smell comes from the same place where the bell's ringing. If my senses don't fail, the noises come from around here. Oh, come on, where are you? A kid? It's coming from- Yeah, it's coming from them. But they don't seem hurt. They're walking like nothing. Oh, well, maybe I should double check. Get a little closer. Just to be sure. <clears throat> Hi! Oh! Oh, don't be scared. Sorry for startling you. I didn't mean to do it. I just got curious about that little bell of yours. Are you selling something? Oh, pottery! Interesting, may I? These faces are beautiful. Who made them? Wow, all these were made by you? You truly are a gifted kid, aren't you? And you have other things in that box of yours, may I see? Hmm, from up close I can smell it as clear as day. The blood draw I followed hints here. They are hurt, but where? I need to keep investigating. Slowly, though, I don't want to startle them again. Let's see, you have... Mugs, plates, and oh, even cups! Wow! So many things to see. I bet your father's a really good potter, is he not? Oh, you want to live with an aunt? I see. I'm sorry about that. I didn't mean to. Was she the one who taught you how, I guess? Well, for the age you are, these are really elaborate and well made pieces. I'm pretty sure she's really proud of you. And they also have these nice flower leaves. Do you like flowers? Oh, I do too. My favorites are daisies. So, little one, how much for the bowls? Each one is five pennies. Are you sure? I could give you ten. And I'll take all of them. I have a pretty big family, so they do come in handy, you know. Of course, really, I want all of them. Oh, easy there. You're hugging me? No, 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 it's all right. I don't feel uncomfortable at all. I bet you don't earn as much as you wish to now, do you? Hey, now, how much for the plates? I also wanted some of those, please. Oh, I can choose? Why, thanks, let's see. Oh, so many options, it's so hard to decide. Excuse me? Oh, my eyes. <laughs> no, you're not seeing things. They are indeed kind of yellow. I guess like brown, but not brown exactly. And speaking of eyes, yours are interesting too. They look like emeralds. Hey, are you alright? How long have you been walking around? All day since the sun woke up? Oh goodness, have you eaten at all? Here, I have an apple, you can have it. Yes, you are looking rather pale and I don't want you falling, so please. Take this. And come sit with me over the tree by there. <laughs> what do you mean you can't? If it's about me being with you, then I can take care of your things while you go and... You haven't earned it. What do you mean? You haven't sold anything today and your aunt says you can't eat until you have at least half of your stuff sold? Well, I already took all the bowls and I'm going to buy some of these plates and vases too. That means half of your stuff already has an owner and that's me. Would it ease your mind to sell something? Like you give it to me and then I pay you? 
so you can go and eat this apple? Okay, so, give me that vase, the one with the big flowers, please. How many times have I told you to get away from my market? And who are you? They can't sell this market, you say? Why is that? Because they don't own a license or permission to do so? Ma'am, are you looking at them? They are a child who's probably doing this out of desperation to help their family. Oh, I see you trying to manipulate strangers. You little beast, you should have learned by now you're not worth the effort. Stop shouting at them. It's not even their fault. How much for that stupid license? Hey, are you okay, kid? Easy, she's not gonna hurt you, I promise. I've told you to get! Get out of here and take that junk of yours with you before I call them guards! Oh, you are an idiot! Did you know that? I hope you are happy with what you've done. The beast deserves it. They are a child. Trust me, you'll pay dearly for this one. You are unbelievable! Kid! Kid, wait! Don't run so fast! Where are you, kid? If you can hear me, please give me a sign you're here. I'm trying to find you. Don't come any nearer. Why? You're scaring me, kid. Are you hurt? Like I don't already know the answer to that one. Uh, here's their box, but where are they? Wait, what was that? Kid? Was that you? Could have sworn I heard a scream. Oh, I don't like this at all. Holy. Okay, calm yourself. Breathe. It's probably nothing. Or it's probably a dragon. Big beast in the forest, and you are a werewolf who is probably only a toothpick for a monster like that. But if it has them. No, I'm brave. I promised them nothing would harm them, and I'm going to stick to that promise. Uh, oh, damn. Um, pretty dragon. Pretty little dragon. I mean no harm. I'm only looking for my friend. Wait. Those eyes... Green as emeralds. I've seen those eyes but Kid? Kid, is that you? Alright, alright. I'm staying right here. Does this look far enough away for you? I can stay over there. Maybe that will calm you down a little. Let me just sit here. See? Everything's fine. You're breathing quite fast. You need to try and calm down. That woman, the merchant, she's gone. And if she dare come this far to find you, then I will end her myself. So, a half dragon. It is interesting. Haven't met any of those. Only a few vampires, and they stink, let's be frank. I can tell you that. And some mermaids. Pretty fishy, but really too narcissistic for my liking. Oh, they're listening. Come on, Willow, you got this. They're like a newly turned wolf, not in control of their actions, scared and in pain. It is as easy as that. Oh, and a fairy. Yeah, she was pretty adorable. I have a friend, his name is Jason, who is a healer and a mage, you know. He makes all those weird potions and stuff like that. And I'm a werewolf, you know, the ones who howl at the moon. Yeah, and my family is too. Lots of fur around everywhere, I can assure you. I think I understand how you feel. The unconscious transformation and all, I kind of get it. It was really scary when I first turned. I remember it hurts when your whole body is shifting and only change a few days in the month. I can't imagine how hard it can be to transform so often and not by choice. Shit. Sorry, sorry, I swear. I didn't mean to startle you. Sorry. I'm not moving at all now. Um, 
What else can I talk about? Oh, I know. I have a dog, a little small one. His name is Cookie because he's covered in brown spots, like a chocolate chip cookie. He loves to play hide and seek. Actually, he's beaten me more than once, even if it hurts to admit it. Hey there, welcome back. Oh, sweetie, come here. No, I'm not gonna hurt you, I swear. Oh, you're shaking. There, there, it's okay. You can hug me. It must have been pretty scary, I know. Shh, shh, shh. It's alright, I got you. Your vision got all red for a moment and you felt like you wanted to hurt me? But you were trying to fight it until you finally were able to become human again? I'm so proud of you for changing back. You did well. Really? No, I'm not scared of you. Why would I? I still see the amazing Potter with the cute smile and the sparkling emerald eyes. Your aunt beats you when you unconsciously change. Same as the merchants. They say you're a big bad beast. A monster. I have the urge to kill someone. I really do, but not you. I'm not mad at you. I could never. You are trying to get this beast inside you under control, and they are not helping at all. Yeah, I have a beast inside too, remember? The only difference is, mine is not as cool. You have really pretty wings. Oh yeah, trust me. I bet with a little training, you might even be able to fly. Yeah, flying all up in the sky, can you imagine? Oh, it would be so nice, wouldn't it? Sweetie, are you okay? You winced. Listen, I have a little story to tell you. I found you because I followed a blood scent, and I've known that you were hurt since the moment we first started to talk to each other. I just didn't want to, you know, scare you. Your aunt did that. Because you accidentally messed up one of the vases. Oh, sweetie, that's not normal. Having to earn your food is not normal. Neither is working on your own at a market with no food in your stomach. Hey now, I know you're pretty comfy laying on my chest. I don't complain, I just need you to look at me for a moment. You deserve a home, a place where you're fed and taken care of, and I can offer that. Yes, really, my family won't mind, I promise. There I can make you some food, and then we'll see what happens. If you need me to go and talk to your aunt, I can do it. She wouldn't mind losing you? Of course she wouldn't. She doesn't deserve such an amazing kid like you. By the way, you never told me your name. <laughs> I see. It's very nice to meet you. My name is Willow. You like my name? Why, thank you. Now, let's get out of here. Come on, I'll help you up and... Kid? Hey, kid, wake up. Oh, they passed out and it looks so pale. I need to find Jason now. Oh, goodness, look at them this close. They're covered in scars and bruises. Jason! Hey, you finally woke up. I was really scared you wouldn't. Yeah, this is my house. Pretty, isn't it? I've addressed your wounds, and while you were taking a nap, I cooked you something so you could eat once you woke up. Don't worry about my family. They are more than happy to have you as one of us. I've told them everything. I mean, it's not like they can go against the Alpha's words. What does Alpha mean? Well, it's like a leader, only that an Alpha usually leads a pack of werewolves. You would like to meet them? Of course. We can go outside tomorrow and I can present you to everyone. But right now, I think you should eat something. It's already night time. Can you believe it? <laughs> so, I made some vegetable soup. Here you go. Careful, it's a little hot. When did you last eat? Almost a day? Oh goodness, don't worry. That was your last time. 
Here we have food three times a day, I promise. Now, try to eat slowly. I don't want you choking, pup. Oh, sorry, it's just a habit to call kids that here, you know? Us being wolves and... Oh, you like it? I'm glad. I didn't want to make you uncomfortable. Okay, I'll keep calling you that then. Sure. I'll let you know what we do next while you finish there, okay? So, over there's the bathroom. You can go there after you finish here and take a shower. There are some clothes that might fit you. After that, I'll show you to your bedroom and you're going to get some much needed rest. <laughs> I love seeing that smile on you. Is the soup good? I put all my effort into it, promise. Oh, you love it. <laughs> That's good to hear. All done? Wow, so quick. Yeah, you're going to go now. I'll be waiting right here. I'm not going anywhere. Oh, poor kid. Abused, manipulated, working for that witch of an ant and scared of the big bad beast that lives inside them. I can't imagine how they handle the transformations, how they didn't destroy that entire village. But I don't have to worry about that, at least not anymore. They are here, and now they have a whole pack of werewolves ready to bite off the heads of anyone who even dares to look at them in the wrong way. Oh, Margaret and Anne are going to love them. Hey there. Oh, look at you. You look so nice in those PJs. I knew they were going to fit. How do you feel? I'm glad to hear that. I really am. Now, follow me. Okay. This is where you'll be sleeping. I know the colors are a bit boring, but we can paint and... Hey, are you crying? Oh, no, no, come here. What's the matter? Oh, sweetie, it's okay. All of that is over. And now I will make sure to take good care of you, I promise. <laughs> Thank me. For what? For saving you? Well, let me give you a hug. Come here. Oh, you're safe now, pup. As long as I'm here, no one can hurt you. Now, into bed we go. You can't deny how tired you are. I can see you yawning. Come on, let me cover you up with this blanket and tuck you in all nice and snug. And I have this stuff for you. It's a kitty. <laughs> yes, they can sleep with you. Let me tuck them in, and there we go. So, Will it be a pirate or a fairy tale? <laughs> That's a good choice. Okay, let me see. Once upon a time, in a faraway kingdom, there lived a potter. Well, they fell asleep quite easily. They were really tired. I'm pretty sure the transformation took a lot out of them. Welcome home, pup. Rest easy now. <laughs>